I've got bad news for you. You're talking to nobody with the majority of your marketing. And what I saw this weekend with Black Friday was proof positive that it's rampant in today's marketing society. My goal is to help, to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 443. I'm your host, Matt Plapp, and we're brought to you by America's Best Restaurants. ABR is on a path to help you, independent restaurant owners, find more frequent customers and double your sales. The hardest part about marketing is talking to the wrong person. And a lot of you aren't even thinking about your marketing in this context. When I look at advertising campaigns, the number one thing I am doing is identifying who is the target market for this message. So I've got my message, I've got my target market, I've got my call to action, and then I have my workflow. Where am I going to take them? Are they going to click? Are they going to comment? Are they going to go to a landing page? Are they going to fill out a form? Are they going to go to Messenger? There has to be a clear path of the reason behind that marketing campaign. And this Black Friday was a really good example of how the majority of small businesses have no earthly idea what I'm talking about. Because what I saw on Friday, and actually leading up to Friday, was businesses, especially restaurants, were yelling and screaming at everybody. And there's an old saying in marketing, that when you try to talk to everybody, you end up talking to nobody. Meaning, if you're trying to reach 47-year-old men with brown hair wearing orange shirts, create a message that will relate to them. I'll never forget early in my marketing career, one of our clients was a, a weight loss clinic. And this direct mail piece, by complete coincidence, went to my house. And it was a blonde white lady in front of a white Chevy Suburban at Kenwood Town Center. It was strategically built around an audience. My wife happened to be a white blonde lady that went shopping at Kenwood Mall that had a white Chevy Suburban. And so when she initially saw it, she thought, what the hell am I doing on this postcard? When in fact it wasn't her. But when we developed that marketing campaign, we built out customer lists and we built out very specific people. We knew that a brown-haired lady was going to get that and probably look at it. But we had a very specific target behind each campaign. There's the same opportunity for your restaurant. And Black Friday was a great opportunity for you to practice that. That was easy. And getting America's Best Restaurants University is even easier. Hey, it's Matt, and I want to make sure that you take advantage of your free membership, abru.online slash free, to get access to your America's Best Restaurants University restaurant marketing program. And we recently added the Acquisition Engine Lite, a product we've sold to thousands of restaurants, is now free to help you, independent restaurant owners, find more frequent customers. Now back to the show. Let's talk about how you can practice that. When you think about what you're going to market, you have to really go deep into thinking about who is actually going to buy this. Black Friday was a good example. Everybody under the sun was trying to sell you gift cards. Every restaurant, for the most part, was Buy a $50 gift card, get it for 40 bucks. Buy a $50 gift card, get a $10 bounce back in first quarter. They almost all had the same exact promotion. The problem was the messaging was not written for a very specific person. It was written for everybody. And then the targeting was going to everybody. If you have an email list for your restaurant and you send that entire list an email 52 weeks a year, you have just attempted to talk to everybody about everything. But if every week you focus on a different target market, 
You know, I'm looking at the RGA guide right now, the restaurant RGA guide. And if you don't have it yet, get off your butt, go to matplap.live slash RGA and get your guide. But I'm looking at it. Sprint one, week three, frequent customers. The reason we put a target for every single week was so that you could create marketing campaigns around something that's going to relate to a frequent customer. If you create a Black Friday promo trying to sell gift cards and your target market is everybody that's a fan of your Facebook page, you cannot create copy that's going to relate to them. I'm going to give you an example. So Better Blend is a place down the street from here. It's a smoothie and acai bowl shop. I remember talking to Isaac, the owner, three or four years ago about this. That if I was him, when I'm building a database, I'm going to find out why that database exists at Better Blend. Meaning, are you more interested in Better Blend as a meal replacement? Are you more interested in Better Blend as a guilty pleasure? Are you here because you're hardcore into fitness? Now, what fitness are you into? That was tempting, but on to the next part. Are you into CrossFit? Are you into bodybuilding? Are you into yoga, Pilates? Do you just go to a Globo gym? Because if you can find out what those people are interested in, you can cater the marketing. So let's just take an example I know really, really well. CrossFit. If that business, as an example, built out a very large list of people who were familiar with BetterBlend and were also CrossFitters, they could send an email and text campaign and do a social media campaign also, for that matter, around CrossFit. So if I got an email on Friday, Black Friday, that wasn't just generic branding, but it was CrossFit branding, knowing that Matt CrossFits and he eats at Better Blend, it's going to get my attention so much more. You have the opportunity with the visuals, the opportunity with the headline, with the offer, with the call to action. There's a lot of different things you could do to get people's attention, but the more specific you are, the better chance you have. So here is my punch list for you. Number one, when you're building a database, you have to get detailed on who you're talking to. Are they new customers, frequent, are they lost? Are they CrossFitters, bodybuilders, are they Globo Gym goers? When you get that database, now you have to use it responsibly. Resist the urge to email your entire database every damn week. There's nothing wrong with saying the third week of the month is dedicated to frequent customers. The first week of the month is dedicated to new customers. In the example I use with Better Blend, maybe the first week of the month is bodybuilders. The second week of the month is CrossFitters. The third week of the month is the Globo Gems. If you do that, you are now creating messaging that is so much more impactful to the audience that's getting it and you're also not bastardizing your list by hitting them over a head with a hammer every week. Look around your household. If I look around my household, I've got my wife, I've got my daughter, I've got my son. It is impossible for you to create a marketing campaign if all four of us are on your list that you could email 52 weeks a year and get traction. So the punch list, a segmented database. The second part, is a marketing campaign that allows you to talk to a specific audience. And the third part is the simple part. It's actually sticking to it. That's all I got. Talk to you next time. So as you know, I don't charge my content. We don't have sponsors. We don't have product placement in here. But what I want your help with is spreading the word. If you're finding value here, do me a favor. Share this on your social media. Share an episode with something that made sense to you, that's relevant to your restaurant, that you got value from, and tag Matt Plapp and America's Best Restaurants. Also, go to America's Best Restaurants on Facebook and on Google and leave us a review. Let us know the impact we've had on your restaurant with our roadshow, with our marketing help, or with our podcast. And last but not least, if you want to take the next step and help me out a lot and help us out a lot, Text me a testimonial, 859-743-2408. That's my cell. A selfie video would be awesome about the impact this content or our company is having on your independent restaurant. But worst case scenario, just a few kind words. The way we can help lift this industry up 
is to help get content like this to more independent restaurant owners. And you are the key to spreading the word. I appreciate your support. Have an amazing day.